All right, so in this browser window here, we've got a completed quiz. So to begin with, let's press the F12 key, and that's going to show us the um, console, which will show us the status of our current score. Now if I hit refresh, it will start the quiz. And it's asking me for the capital of Italy, so I'll just give it some nonsensical answers. and. After I answer a couple of questions wrong, it gives me the uh, notification that I've, I've lost the quiz, I've lost the game. Um, let's do it again. This time we're going to answer the questions. So, capital of Italy is Rome. You're right. Capital of France is Paris. We're going to get uh, you right again. And capital of Spain is Madrid. All right. And we get another 5 points, the score is 30, and we get the notification that we've won. So, from this uh, little showcase, we can already see that the game consists of 3 questions. Uh, the starting score is 15 points, and then it either climbs up or down based on the answers we provide. And once we hit either a score of 0 or a score of 30, um, the game is either won or lost. To make this game, um, I had to of course use the finished version, so now I'm just going to select everything and delete it, and save this game, uh, this uh, file, and now when I refresh, I, don't, I no longer have the game, so we're going to start from scratch. Before we begin, let's change the color scheme here, so I'll click File, Preferences, Color Theme, and I'm looking for a lighter theme, and that's going to be quite light, which is quite nice, and I'll just press the exclamation mark, and then hit the tab key. And this will expand my exclamation mark into um, a simple boilerplate uh, HTML file. So now, if I hit Ctrl S to save it, and hit refresh here, it's going to say document. And let's change that to say JS quiz. Control S, refresh, and now it says JS quiz. Okay, so we are concerned with what's happening in between the body tags. So our page is only going to have an H1 heading that says welcome to JS quiz. Alright, so that's the first thing. And the second thing to do is going to be to make the script tags, opening and closing script tags, and here I'm going to type the rest of my page. So that's pretty much uh, only JavaScript code here. So we'll start off with a simple prompt. So I'm going to say prompt and I'm going to type my question right here, and I'm going to say, what's the capital of Italy? Okay, Control S, and now when I hit refresh, the prompt is going to appear, asking me the question that I've typed here. So I'm going to say, the capital of Italy is 1, whatever. I'll press OK, and the prompt is gone. So the answer was number 1 but I don't see it, and I have no way of getting back this answer once I've closed the prompt dialog. So, in order to have the answer available to me, I'm going to have to store this result of user input, whatever the user types, types in as the answer to this prompt, I'm going to have to store it in a variable. So, this whole thing I'm going to store in a variable by typing var first question. And I'm gonna put in the equal sign here, and this line of code pretty much says, um, it says, take the result of user, use, take the user's answer to this question in the prompt, and put it inside the variable called first question. Alright, so now I need to do something with this first question, and what I will do 
depends on what answer the user gives us. So if the user says Rome, that means that he gave us a correct answer and we're going to do one thing. However, if he typed something like Paris or London or whatever, uh, that means that he's not correct and that he's wrong and uh, we're going to have to do something else. So, first let's give the user some kind of feedback on what happened. And before we do that, I remember that right now that we have this first question, uh, the prompt, the answer from the prompt stored in the first question, we now can actually have access to the answer. So if I refresh and type Rome and hit OK, I still don't have the answer anywhere, but if I type, it, type in into the console the name of the variable first question, we get back whatever the user answered. So if he answers, let's say, London, and I hit OK, and now I type first question, we're going to get back London. So we have a way now of fetching uh, the input that the user gave us. Okay, so now that we discussed how to uh, get back at the variable and also uh, what we need to do, um, we need to start with a switch statement. So I'm just going to type switch and I'm going to say first question. Inside of the switch statement I'm going to give uh, the, my program some cases. So in case of user typing Rome, I'm telling my program to give the user a confirmation and the confirmation will be you are right. Otherwise, let's say the user typed London, I'm going to say confirm you are you are wrong. And now we, if we think about this, the user could type um, a name of any other city on earth really because you know if he doesn't know it's Rome he could be guessing so he could type London, Paris, Berlin, whatever. So I could keep on typing here case Paris, case Berlin, case whatever and it would be kind of silly. So because there would be thousands of cases and all of them would be wrong so it's kind of silly to do it. So a better thing to do would be to uh, actually have this correct case where I say confirm you are right and then for all the other cases I'm going to say you are wrong. So all the other answers besides Rome are going to be described with the default case and this always comes at the uh, bottom of a switch statement. So I have case Rome and I have a default case. Okay, and also an important thing to remember is that I need to put in break at the end of each of my cases so as to break out of the switch statement. Okay, so now that I've done this I can hit refresh, I'll type in Rome, click OK and I get this message here, this confirmation box that says the page says you are right. Okay, um, however I could type London or whatever else and if I hit OK it's gonna say you are wrong. So obviously uh, our program is working and we have achieved something that resembles the beginning of our quiz. Mm -hmm. 